Oh my god, give me that ammo. Oh my god. Ducks can die. Shoot all zombies. Oh my god, like a boss. A duck's opinion. Quack, quack, quack. Getting all quiet now. I'm like really, I'm like really wanting to hit round 20 now. I'm getting close. I'm like try hard mode right now. Just gonna hit the box every once in a while. See what it drops, man. Didn't even see it. Now I have to run back around there just so I can see what it was. Without these zombies flanking me. Ah, sniper. Yeah, that's definitely worth my life. I should put my face on the silver dollar. Is that a maxi? I don't know. I think it's a times two. I Man, it's okay. We got a ray gun. It's no big deal. It's just been cool. But this round, I definitely want to nuke the hell out of the box. I want to nuke the hell out of the box and get that wonder weapon. Because that's like really the last thing on five that I can actually show everybody. You know, it's the last thing on five that if you haven't seen this map and you're watching this to check it out, that I can show everything. You know, I've done everything on this map besides get the wonder weapon. It's the last thing I haven't done. Is Flopper only in DLC? Um, I'm, yes, I think so. I think Flopper is only in DLC. I think Flopper first appeared in Extension, but um, don't quote me on this stuff because I'm just kind of thinking about it instead of actually, like, you know, looking it up. But I'm pretty sure it appeared on Flopper, if Flopper appeared first on Extension, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know the Sniper, the Wonder Weapon is called the Winner's Howl. Yes, I do know this. And it's not the best Wonder Weapon ever, but... But it is, um, it's cool. I see in America, unafraid of beauty and grace. Woo! But you beast aren't helping. Eat me and I for dinner. Wait, do we have any more zombies? Or is this it? All right, that's it. So let's go ahead and nuke the box some. And uh, let's do this. What's up, Fifth Stripe? Welcome back. We are just playing some five. We're almost at the end of this, uh... We're almost at the end of this, but um, we're going to probably go ahead and trade this on up for everything just because I want to rush through it, and I want to go ahead and just get what I'm looking for, you know what I mean? So at this point, all I really need is the ray gun. You know, we had a lot of fun. <gasps> there it is! So look at that, you guys. I have, I have successfully done everything physically possible in this map. That's freaking awesome. So this is the Winter House. What it does is you shoot a zombie, and it freezes them, and they like... I mean, it's not the greatest thing ever, but it freezes them and they, like, explode. And, um, I actually want to pack a punch this gun just so we can fully see how it all works. So let's go ahead and do the DEF CONS and do one final pack a punch before we end this game. I'm a little bit nervous that the guy's going to come steal my gun, but if he does come and steal my gun... I can easily take him out with the ray gun. I'll definitely let him get the winner's howl, and then I can just nuke him with the ray gun and get my gun back if he takes it. But I'm, pr I'm pretty sure, though, I could probably use the ray gun as he's running toward me and kill him. I just really don't want to risk it to lose the ray gun. But it's okay. We'll figure this out. And um, and then we're going to uh, going to get to round 20 and kill ourselves. Where is the last one at? Oh, there it is. Almost missed it. So, um, big, big, uh, Dan Man UK asks what map is next. I'm either gonna do Dead Ops Arcade next or uh, Shangri La. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna save, I'm gonna save Kino, the theater map. I'm gonna save that one for last because it's my favorite. Out of all the maps I'm doing tonight, it's my favorite. Eesh, where's the last Defcom thing at? Oh, no, we already there. We already did it. All right, and here we go. We're going to pack a punch the wonder weapon on this map, which uh which is pretty cool. I mean, I don't use it often, but it's cool. It's cool. So there it is. We now have the winner's furry. Whatever the hell that means. So yeah, let's go a couple rounds. Let me show you guys off this uh map and then let's uh, go ahead and get the hell on out of here. And we kind of got to wait. We got to wait until this shot. Let's see if I can go ahead and jump back through here. I don't think I can though. Oh, I can. Okay, that's cool. It's cool. Wasn't 100% sure. Don't play it that often. So yeah, let's go ahead and burn through the rest of these levels, you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm beyond ready. I'm beyond ready to get down to five. 
Like, this is, like, one of my least favorite maps. And actually, I'm doing kind of boss. I actually, I grew to like this map a little bit more in these last 50 minutes of playing it. Like, I totally grew to like this map now. I'm like, holy shit, I actually did good on it for once. All right, zombies, my body is ready. What's up, Get em Cascade? I didn't know your name was Dare Daredevil on here. That's one thing I always do. I always get names mixed up, like, you know, Facebook names, Xbox names, YouTube names. Always, always get them mixed up. Shangri-La. You guys want me to do Shangri-La next? We can do Shangri-La next. I just... I just said I'd do Dead Ops Arcade, and if I don't do it now, it'll, it'll, I'll, I'll have footage of me saying I'll do it, and then I didn't. <laughs> but I'm not going to do Dead Ops Arcade for long when I do it. I'll do it for like 10 minutes and die, because it's, it's not a zombie map. It's a arcade game, you know? So, screw a bunch of Dead Ops Arcade. But I do want to just show you guys, so I want to show off everything in Black Ops 1. That's what I'm working for. And the last and final live stream I'll do for Black Ops 1 will be the original World at War maps, but they're remade for Black Ops 1. And so we'll, we'll do those in our live stream maybe maybe in a couple weeks here. We'll see. We'll see. So let's see how the winner how works on a huge group of zombies. It kind of reminds me of the uh, Wonder Weapon in Die Rise. How you have to shoot them with it and it takes a minute for them to explode, but eventually they explode. That's a lot what this reminds me of. We aren't going to get the death machine anymore. I don't see any point. But yeah, this gun definitely reminds me of the slipifier. Definitely. It's, it's just instead of slipifying them, it freezes them. So that's definitely what this gun reminds me of. Definitely. I honestly haven't used this gun in so long. It's been so long since I used this gun. Like they put it in, a, they put it in the Asylum map when they redid it. For Black Ops 1, the one that was in World at War, the one that's kind of like an asylum, they did it in that map. They added this gun to it, and it's kind of funny. But what is that, Varuk? I think it's Varuk. I get those names mixed up. But they added that, when they remade it, they added this gun to Varuk. I thought that was pretty cool, that they added Wonder Weapons to each other. Pain is temporary. Pride is forever. Look at that. That's freaking awesome, man. I love Wonder Weapons. That's so cool. Like, even when Black Ops 1 first came out, even even in World of War, they had some amazing wonder weapons. Like, you know, the Wonder Waffle, Thunder Gun, this uh, Winner's Howl, you know, they have always some really crazy, cool, unique weapons. I always love that about, about Treyarch and Infinity War and Activision when they make zombies and shit like that. So, yeah, there we have it. We get the last few zombies frozen, and uh, we got a max ammo, too, right? So, um, what do we say that this is probably going to be that guy? Yep, okay, so when he comes over here, I really just want to blast him with a ray gun, take him out first try, maybe get a free pack-a-punch. Like, I don't know how he wouldn't die. Yep, yeah, see, that's what I mean. I don't know how he wouldn't die about that. Alright, so let's go get our, let's go get our ray gun pack-a-punch for, uh, what, 1,500? No, it said 1,000. Voila. Things do not... So, um, one of my buddies, uh, Cyclone, said that um, a Thunder Gun should be in Black Ops 2 in a DLC. I wouldn't doubt it if they put a Thunder Gun in Black Ops 2 DLC, but I will say whatever map the Thunder Gun's on, it will be too OP. OP. That gun is way too overpowered. Like, if it was in Die Rise, I would have did, like, a road to round 100. Like, it would have been nothing. Because with that map, the thing that's OP about it, or the thing that's OP about um, the Thunder Gun is that, like... I almost died there. Hold on. <laughs> the thing that's OP about the Thunder Gun is if you get stuck in a, if you get stuck, it, it will definitely get you out. And that's the thing that's OP about it. Most any other gun, if you're stuck in a corner, besides Mustang and Sally with Flopper, it's not going to get you out of that corner. Thunder Gun can. So if you fuck up a circle strategy, you can save yourself with a Thunder Gun, and that makes it too OP. Makes it too OP. But don't get me wrong, I love the Thunder Gun. I used it a billion times in extension. I used it to get to level 48 in extension. Me and my buddy, we did two players and got to 48 with extension, and it was fun. Fun as fuck. Don't get me wrong, it's a great gun. It's just OP. It's the only thing I said bad about it. It's just OP. What does OP mean, Philip? What I'm Duck? Say my real name. Confirm. Must bl must uh must blurp that out later on. Nah. <laughs> um. Overpowered. That's what it means. It means it's overpowered. 
What is the buildable wonder weapon on transit? The buildable weapon on transit is a, it's like a, it's like an airplane jet, but I would not call that a wonder weapon. It's not a wonder weapon at all. It is just a piece for the Easter egg. Like you can use it as a weapon, but it is a very, very bad weapon. That's why I don't call it a wonder weapon. It's not a wonder weapon at all. Now the one on, uh, the one on Die Rise, that is a wonder weapon, and you do build it, but once you build it, it goes into the box. The buildable weapon on transit does not. You have to pick up the pieces and rebuild it. So everybody, we made it. We have made it to our round 20. We have uh, made it to the round that I wanted to make it to, and we actually made it to round 21. So that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I'm just going to try to run 21 without uh, any perks. Just for fun, you know, just to end it right here. We're just going to try to run it without any perks. Just for fun, you know what I mean? But we did it. We freaking did it. I was just resting my eyes. And yeah, I'm sure people have high round strategies for using the stupid the jet gun thing. But it's just, it's not that great, man. I don't like it, man. People can run strategies for that all they want, you know? I did a road to round, what, 40? Yeah, I did a road to round 40 for transit. I did just fine of a ray gun. Just saying. <laughs> I did just fine of a ray gun. There is no need for no jet gun. You just go run the diner. That's all you do. Hey, you guys. I know you guys don't want me to kill myself, but you guys have to realize I'm not going to sit here and play this for four hours, and I have four. I have three other maps I have to cover. We've already been doing this live stream for an hour. I can't sit here for four hours and play this stuff. That's why I have to kill myself. So anyway, um, yeah, I can pretty much run this horde even without Jug, obviously, huh? <laughs> Oh, by the way, like, if you guys in the comments, like, post my real name or post, like, my gamer tag, that's a really good way of getting removed off my page. I'm just saying. I don't put that shit out there for a reason, so don't any one of you guys put it out there. <laughs> casket! Oh, <laughs> casket! <clears throat> and there we have it, you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this Let's Play of the map 5. We broke round 20. We did the very best that I possibly imagine that I could do on this map broke 500 kills got to round 21 so thank you guys so much for watching that has been watching this in the uh, later footage in the parts when I upload it to YouTube and um, we're going to continue in the next video in a different map so thank you guys so much talk to you later dusk and fly peace